friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and today I want to look at Revan in Arena. Now, I don't do as many of these videos as I definitely should, but I wanted to kind of see what he looks like and how best we can defeat him. Now, this is my current Arena shard. This is my current game, right? This is, this is me. Looking at the ranks of of my shard you have got a crazy amount of people now what's interesting here is there are a lot of really great teams out there currently in the number one position as i am making this video as you are seeing right now you've got jedi training ray that is impressive so for those of you who haven't gotten jedi knight revan there's hope now looking at this this is pretty solid it is a jedi training ray bb8 r2d2 c3po and oh my gosh friggin infest nest now oh my goodness now looking at infest nest that is redonkulous um holy crap they've got her completely maxed out great stats this is this is just a phenomenal team now Will it stay in first place? I don't rightly know. But look at the rest of here. We've got we got Revan, 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 Treya, Revan, 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 and it and so on and so forth. This is this is ridiculous. So knowing how to beat Revan is important. Now I I as I've mentioned this before, I don't like going up against Revan, but now that there's more of them out there, I definitely need to know how to do it. I need to be able to identify the best team. Now, this is an interesting one. In rank number 24, I've got a Finn lead. So it's Finn, uh, Resistance Trooper, S Solo, Chewie, and, and uh, C-3PO. That's, that's an interesting one. Um, let's see how that one stays off. But if you look at what's fascinating about this whole thing is if you look at the meta report on swgoh.gg, Revan is kind of killing it right now in as a meta or as a meta leader. Now, I'm curious to know if that is simply because he's new and people are finally getting him the second time around. They want to try him out. That makes a lot of sense, right? Because they've been they've been trying it so much. But this is hilarious. Now, this is the top 10 leaders at rank one. Revan makes up almost two thirds of the, he makes up two thirds of the, the more than two thirds. He makes up three fourths of the entire meta. That is, that's awesome and, and hilarious and crazy. But Revan can be beaten. Revan is definitely one that you have to be familiar with and you have to have a really great team. I am going to go up against Luckily B. This is a Revan, Obi Wan Kenobi, Bastila, Jolie Bindo, and Grandmaster Yoda. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to defeat Revan first. And the reason I want to do that is because he's got that savior ability that really sucks. And essentially, what it means is when he dies, he. Uh, comes back immediately which i don't i don't care for i really don't um luckily with c3po i'm going to use his uh oh my goodness ability which is this the, essentially the mass attack i was able to take him out with that now my goal is to defeat jolie bendo because jolie is kind of a giant douchebag because what he likes to do is he likes to bring people back to life and that's not something that you want on a Revan team. You want to get Jolie out of the game just as quickly as possible. I've got Obi-Wan down. He's taunting. I'm going to try to stun him. Doesn't work. I could... It, this is this is where it gets a little tricky. Um, I want to get General Kenobi out because... I don't like the idea of being forced to taunt some or forced to, to attack someone. And if I can get him out of the way, then he's gone. And he's not someone I have to worry about anymore. Now it is Bastila, Revan, and Yoda. Revan, I'm not as worried about anymore. I'm going to go ahead and take all of these. Oh, man, that sucks. 
I was gonna try. I was trying to take up the buffs with uh, CLS's ability. That didn't work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do Dead Eye on Bastila, which is gonna make him attack again. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do Never Tell Me the Odds, which is gonna give Critical Chance up and Evasion up, but it allows Chewbacca to attack a second time. Ooh, that ain't good. Bastila. Okay, Bastila's out. Now I'm forced to attack Revan. Uh-oh. This is this is difficult. He's going after my Chewie. Alright. Do I want to do this? Let's see. C3PO's basic. Let's try it here. Oh, and he resisted. That was not smart of me. All right, now Revan's gone. I've got little green monster man. And I think he's it's doable with at this point. Yep, and it's it's a close one. It came down to a very close one, but I was still able to do it. It is not easy for sure. You let us move into this battle. Let's see if I can get 26th place. I am I do outnumber him by a little bit. Let's let's begin. Let's fight it out, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and kill Douchey McDoucherton. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna actually do this. All right. See how that works. All right. Oh, I hate that. I freaking hate. That. Okay, so freaking General Kenobi's been a bit more of a punts on this. I don't care for him. Uh, and this is why I like to take Kenobi out first. I mean, oh, he's a, oh, he's a turd bucket. Oh, freaking R2. Okay. All right. So I, it looks like I'm going to have to take Kenobi out, which, again, I don't like. Now he's back. But the savior ability, I think, should be gone. And if I'm going to have to fight Kenobi, just destroy him here. I'm, gonna, I'm now a little worried about Luke. All right. I've got to immediately take out, well, Revan. Oh, son of a... And Kenobi's back. Mother fudge cookies. That is frustrating and this is this is why kill order is incredibly important this is why your mods need to be phenomenal okay kenobi's gone let's see if i can whittle joe lee down before every time and i gotta say this guys i, I mean i love country music every time i hear joe lee bindo i'm thinking of the reba mcintyre song julie julie Julie, and that's, I mean, that's a spot on impression of Reba McIntyre. I mean, for those of you who don't listen to country music, I don't blame you. It's not for everyone, right? I grew up in the South. It's just kind of what we do. But it's interesting. Revan is beatable, but it, it really will depend on your RNG. It really will depend on, on your mods. It depends on a lot of different things. So I'm using CLS. There's the mirror match, which is frustrating, but still doable. Those mirror matches come down more to your gear, your mods, your Zetas, who you have Zetas, and, you know, RNGesus, just, just a little bit. I think that kill order, I really think you get rid of that savior ability first. You then move on to Jolie if you can. If you can't, if, if you're stuck on Obi-Wan or General Kenobi, get him as quickly as you possibly can, and then try to move on to Jolie because you don't want him reviving people. It is infuriating. It's incredibly frustrating. But it's doable. It really is. And hopefully this video has been helpful. Hopefully this video shows you how to approach killing a Revan team. Leave a comment in the section below. Like, subscribe, share. Join us on Discord. I've been a little bit inactive lately, but 
I love conversing with you guys. Check us out on goingnerdy.com where we talk about other Star Wars related things and just other things in general, the nerd related topics. Visit us. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and wherever we can be found. This is Bethaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, smile and stay nerdy. Oh, <laughs>